collective book haul these books i have collected them for the past two months or so or maybe less so without rumbling let's jump into this video because there is quite some book i do want to apologize in advance because i am currently filming in my bathroom because my daughter is currently sleeping and this is the only time i get to film so i'm sorry if my voice is on the lower side so this is some of the books i have more on this side but i can't pick all of them up so just showing this pile these books are from target have book prices and book outlets. My most recent order is from Book Outlet and I'm so happy to talk about them because it's the first time I ordered from them and it was such an amazing experience, honestly. I am happy with the books I received. I'm a stay-at-home mom so I'm always in search of good prices and I have definitely found a place where to buy books. I definitely recommend if you're a stay-at-home mom or if you're just trying to save your coins. So I picked up Bride a few weeks back by Ali Hazelwood and for some reason, I always have trouble getting into her books. I've read about three to four books of hers and honestly, they're not for me. But I want to give her a second chance with this one. This is also a YA, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and this is a kind of romantic book. We have a bride. We have a vampire bride. This is kind of like an arranged marriage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm assuming they're going to be enemies to lovers. And all this is just out of convenience. So yeah, it's just... He just our alliances something like that along the lines of that so yeah we do have a vampire romantic with this one so i'm excited to give ali he's a word a second try not even second try like multiple tries i really want to get into her books but for some reason i don't know what's going on then have Bella Donna by Adeline Grace and this one was only $6.99 and it was on the you side um and it's literally brand new and it hasn't even been opened but from this book i honestly don't have much knowledge of this book i just know that we follow an orphan child which in this case is signa pharaoh she has been raised by a string of guardians um they honestly don't care for her they just care for wealth um and she only has some remaining relatives that are the Hawthorns in this case but then something paranormal comes in tries to tell her all these things I don't know I don't know I just know we have dead paranormal things going on and a glimpse of romance um don't quote me on anything I'm saying I don't have much knowledge of these books okay so yeah so the last book that i got from half book prices is the serpent and the wings of night so in this book we follow vampires enemies to lovers we also have trials in this book so i'm really excited whenever there's trials it always reminds me of powerless that book is one of my top favorite books of this year so anything trials just i just know it's gonna be good and it's also part of a duology so this is the first book and eventually we have a second book to this if i'm not mistaken the second book has multiple points of view so that's interesting i always love when they have multiple points of views because we always get like a different part of the story which makes it more interesting in my opinion i forgot about this book this book i got it at a bookstore that i discovered it was so cute um but i only picked up just one book because usually smaller bookstores tend to be on the pricier side i paid almost 20 dollars for this book i have heard so many good things of abby jimenez so i decided to finally jump into my abby jimenez era so for this book we follow opposite of tracks so we have a city girl meets small town boy the guy falls first we follow alexis montgomery after a while by girl and girl cheese sandwich and cuddle with a baby girl alexis montgomery has her world turned upside down he calls daniel grant a ridiculously hot carpenter who's 10 years younger than her and as casual as they come the complete opposite of suffocating city girl alexis and yet her chemistry is undeniable while her ultra wealthy parents want her to carry on the family legacy of world-renowned surgeons 
Alexis doesn't need glory or fame. She's fine with being a mere ER doctor. And every minute she spends with Daniel in the tight-knit town where he lives, she's discovering just what's really important. Yet letting the relationship become anything more than a short-term fling would mean turning her back on her family and giving up the opportunity to thousands of people. Bringing Daniel into her world is impossible, and yet she can't just give up on the joy she's found with him either. With so many differences between them, how can Alexis possibly choose between her world and his? I'm always so excited to read small town romances and like found family related like setting because it always just has like a much more like meaning to the story. It just feels much more like heartwarming. But I am so excited for this book. I can't wait to jump into my Abby Jimenez era. Let's jump into my Target haul. I do want to say that for Target, I always aim to buy when they have the deal of buy one, get one. 50% off so I picked up When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker Okay, this book is thick to begin with There's a lot of like different reviews on this book Some people like it, some people don't So we have like, I guess it's not for everybody um, But based on the people that I follow and I kind of relate to They love it, so I'm trusting them so in this one, we follow also vampires, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. So yeah, we follow Faye and Dragons. We have diary entries. We have multiple points of views. So I love that in a book because once again, we get more of like an insight of like different perspectives. Uh, we have magic. We have lots of world building. So that is scary. Whenever it comes to world building, it's kind of overwhelming because usually when you're like reading the world building you could get kind of confused so i hope this one doesn't do that and of course we just have romanticity in this thick book and we have enemies to lovers as well i just want to say i love this cover like what it's so thick and this is another series i keep getting into series i need to stop i really do need to stop i paid like less than $15 for this book and usually it's around 20 something bucks so that was a steal you guys do I even have to say anything of Mrs. Sarah G Mass? I don't, I don't think I even have to explain anything about this series because we all know her like Sarah G Mass books are just chef's kiss. I do want to say that I heard that this series it's more on like the adventurous side so it's not as heavy in the romance as Avatar but I still want to give it a try because people say you're left devastated when you finish this series. So I love books that break my heart, leave me like rethinking my entire life so why not right? I do want to say that the way people read these books are different so that's the only reason why i haven't started this series because of the book order some people say to start with assassin blade some people say to start with this the author personally says to just start with throne of class but i don't know let me know your opinions i had someone on instagram one of my besties tell me to start with assassin blade so i might start with assassin blade but i don't know yet I just know that I'm excited to start this book. I am obsessed with the covers of all of these books, especially the ones towards the ending. They have amazing covers. So I am really excited for this series. I picked up The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, and this is part of a trilogy. And we follow Faye and Human. So this is kind of like a royalty romance, if we cannot already tell because of the crown um i heard amazing things of this trilogy so i definitely want to give this a try i don't know much of it so i'm going to go ahead and read the premise since it's really short sharpen your blade harden your heart jude was seven when her parents were murdered and she and her two sisters were stolen away to live in the treacherous high court of fairy 10 years later jude wants nothing more than to belong there but many of the fae despise humans especially Prince Corden, the youngest and the wickedest son of the High King. So we have enemies to lovers here. To win a place at the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. So do we have some kind of like trial 
I don't know. But I just know that I'm excited for this book. And this was like $7 or $8 at Target. So if you want to start a series, go pick it up. Moving on to the most exciting haul of the video, which is from Book Outlet. From Book Outlet, I have six books. So for the first book, I picked up Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I am in my Emily Henry era. I cannot believe that in the beginning of my book journey, I did not like her writing style. We're not in those times anymore. We're, we're new. We have progressed, okay? I loved Funny Story. I love Beach Read. I wasn't really a fan of Happy Place, but I get why people really love it. I still view that book like a four stars. But in this book, we follow Nora, and I guess um, she ends up going on this like vacation trip with her sister because her sister kept insisting to have like kind of like a sister kind of trip. So along this trip, she encounters a book editor, which in this case is Charlie. Um, we have kind of like also like a small town romance going on. I don't know if we have enemies to lovers. But I do know that Emily Henry writes enemies to lovers, friends to lovers. So I don't know which one is this. But I want to say maybe enemies to lovers. So yeah, that's pretty much all I know about this book. I'm excited because we did another vacation trip with Emily Henry. I literally picked up this book because of the cover and because later on I realized that it was actually a good book because I seen people post about this book and they love it. So I picked up You With The View by Jessica Joyce. This will be the first book I read from her. So in this book we follow a little shepherd and she pretty much lost her grandmother and along with her grieving she discovers this love letter that was given to her grandmother by Theo Spencer and before anything goes on she ends up posting on tiktok to basically go on a search for theo spencer um but little does she know that theo spencer is the grandfather of paul and if i'm not mistaken they used to know each other and they used to hate each other so that's interesting i'm excited to start this book because of the cover and because of her amazing things of this book. So the next two books are part of a series. And I also am well aware that I have book one and book three. I am missing book two, but they just didn't have it online. So I picked up The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. She is the author of The Inheritance Games, which I still have that book in my TBR for years so i need to get into that series before i start these books so we basically follow casey i honestly just know that we follow like a murder mystery kind of setting it's pretty much giving a good girl's guide to murder but like obviously with a different concept but i'm gonna go ahead and read the premise since it's quite short 17 year old casey hopes is a natural at reading people piecing together the tiniest details she can tell who you are and what you want but it's not a skill that she's ever taken seriously that is until the fbi comes knocking they have begun a classified program that uses exceptional teenagers to crack in famous cold cases and they need Casey. What Casey doesn't realize is that there's more at risk than a few unsolved homicides, especially when she's sent to live with a group of teens whose gifts are as unusual as her own. Soon, it becomes clear that no one in the naturals program is what they seem. And when a new killer strikes, danger looms clubs. Caught in a lethal game of cat and mouse with the killer, the naturals are going to have to use all their gifts just to survive. Okay, so we kind of have like maybe like a trap going on here she's taken to this place and literally does she know that she's in danger um maybe at least what what if they set all of this up i'm already having theories i'm excited for these books i heard amazing things of this series so i'm just excited i'm excited so for the last two books um i honestly did impulsive buying with these two books because as soon as i finished betting on you by lynn painter i immediately went online and ordered these two books which is the do-over and better than the movies and i don't think i even have to even give an explanation of these books because these are books that are really well loved really well known and lynn painter is just book boyfriend material 
my shoe rights book boyfriend material you guys i cannot stress it enough betting on you was amazing i was like cracking up multiple times i was a few pages in and i was already cracking up and i was obsessed the minute i opened that book so i am expecting these to do a second thing i am obsessed with the covers i do want to get my own copy from betting on you because betting on you i actually checked it out and borrowed it from the library and i soon have to return it so i do want to get my own copy because i definitely want to annotate that book because there was just amazing moments i have a whole review on my bookstagram so go ahead and follow me on my bookstagram once again those were the last two books from this entire haul anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more book hauls go ahead and support your girl because we definitely need the support but with that being said i will see you guys in my next video